Greetings to you, beloved of God. Welcome to this video. We will gladly continue our study with regard to the mindset of people. It's either a mindset of lie or a mindset of truth. It's about that, basically. And with which mindset are we studying scripture? That is the question all the time. So, we will continue with the slides and I ended the previous video with the confrontation matrix so I will not go through that one because I already went through it so we continue with the next slide and we already hopefully know or have established that scripture itself is very very clear in general scripture is very clear and oh boy god has deliberately um, uh, put together his word in a very genial way in a very very genial way and that brings things to the surface exactly the way he wants it and exactly according to the results he wants within the genius of his plan especially also the judgment part let's take a look there are many clear passages in god's word that straight that state the truth pain, uh, plainly plainly god is the savior of all people that's the truth and it states the truth plainly in scripture he does this so god is the savior of all people and he saves all people because of the accomplished work of his beloved son jesus christ who is the sacrifice through whom death all sin and all evil will be abolished it is so clear that no wrong interpretation can be given to it it's impossible if you want to know the truth it's impossible the orig the original language chosen by god are the guarantee of this that's the whole point it's also knowing how to study god's word we're talking about the original language that comprise god's word itself and that and those are hebrew and greek predominantly these are also the only pure languages on earth did you know that hebrew and greek are the only totally pure languages what does that mean in a pure language each word has only one basic meaning meaning and basic both so only one basic meaning per word this is so important to understand this this principle because it cannot mean more it's not possible let's let's continue otherwise you don't have an anchor to hold on to that's the point if a, a word can mean more that's the point be sure to understand that basic meaning is different from usage something entirely different basic meaning is always to be the same consistently that's the point very important always the same usage can differ depending on the context that's leading but it is still to concur with the meaning of that word even if the context is leading with the usage so you have a word that is used in a certain way and um, I, I always use that example of apostasia that Greek word that can uh, be used as falling away that's possible but the basic meaning is departure and that can mean a departure from truth or um, a spiritual departure if you want or a physical departure from the earth it's still departure 
that word apostasia is still departure. That's the basic meaning of apostasia. I hope you understand this. So, the meaning needs to be the same. And this is so important. But there are certainly also passages in God's word in which the opposite of that aforementioned truth seems to be written. It seems like that. It's a paradox. And in which it also appears not to be so clearly defined. Again, appearing apparently. And it is these passages that demand further study. What do they really mean? Okay, so let's look at the two types of people again, just to be very clear about that. These passages that appear not to be so clearly defined and, and need um, further study, they, ref they, they also reveal two types of people, these passages. There you see two types of people that distinguish themselves. A, type A, or group A. Those with a heart that seriously seeks the truth, regardless of the consequences for themselves. Clear, right? And group B, those who in their hearts can live with the current situation of injustice and to that end follow the easy path of the majority and what the leader says if the leader says it, it's good we just follow the leader that's the easy way out that's easy in the short term making yourself easy no, don't take responsibility for your own views don't study for yourself don't take ownership no just follow the teacher follow you see the point very important so let's go deeper group A these people think critically of themselves they make connections they really study the meaning of words in the original text and therefore also look beneath the surface we continue with group A their only goal is to find truth or you could say the truth even if it means changing principles as an example because of wrong assumptions that you change your principles that's possible even if it means adjusting your self-image and direction even if it means damage uh, damage to reputation power and possibly even income even if it means loss of face with family, friends and acquaintances. Even if it means oppression and affliction for ourselves, oneself. These are all possibilities of damage in the short term that one can suffer as pain of discipline because they want to know the truth so let's go to group B that's the other side of the spectrum obviously these people cherish their own views and traditions because these often suit their short-term interests they embrace their own views and traditions because these views, they earn them esteem and respect in their own circle of friends and acquaintances. So they cherish those. 
they embrace them. They feel good or rather even superior about themselves in relation to sinners or others who are not like themselves. And oh boy, there are many billions of people like that. Billions. They often read the Bible superficially with the aim of gaining confirmation of their own cherished traditional views. And of course we can go on and on, but you know the drill, you understand what I mean here, of course. So, here's something to think about. God intentionally places things in his word that can be misinterpreted. Did you know that? I repeat. God intentionally places things in his word that can be misinterpreted. That's why I just said in this video that God's plan is genius and the way he put together his word is fantastic. It's impeccable because he put things in there that will bring two types of people to the surface two types that will distinguish themselves positively and negatively in the long term why does god do that anyway he does it for the following relative relative reason because absolutely god is directing the whole show the whole play of course but relatively let's take a look people who love the truth in their hearts they distinguish themselves by the extra effort they make then most often they find the truth and can testify to the personal wealth spiritual wealth also it brings them and not to mention the long-term Ionian joy that is even preceded by Ionian expectation and anticipation. Don't forget that one, because that's already joy and joyous. We continue. Group B. Those who do not love the truth in their hearts have their search seemingly confirmed. Why seemingly? <laughs> because what they find only seems true on the surface if they do not really take God's word seriously and do not take the context into account that's why it only seems true on the surface yep and their search is seemingly confirmed yes we found it no you only looked at your heart you only looked at what you wanted to find to confirm your pre-established views in order to stay in the same group of friends as an example to have the same reputation as an example you see the point so how about this passage because scripture confirms what I'm saying here Proverbs 25 verse 2 it is the glory of Elohim God to conceal a matter and the glory of kings to investigate a matter how about that so it is the matter that kings are investigating not their views not their surroundings not their expectations or their reputation no they are not looking for that to to they are not looking for confirmation of those things no they want to know the truth they are investigating a matter and what does god do he hides it he conceals it in his word so that you do that you go through some trouble that you dig underneath the surface 
That's the point. So, it always starts with the condition of the heart. Always. The truth is always made known by Holy Spirit, through Holy Spirit, to people with an inquisitive heart. A heart that actually wants to know God through His Word. Again, a heart that actually wants to know the true God through His Word. You can recognize these people by their critical attitude towards what they hear and see and by the fact that they are willing to make the extra effort to really dig into God's Word and putting puzzle pieces together. You see the point. Again, they are willing to make the extra effort to really dig, to really dig into God's Word and putting puzzle pieces together and even if the puzzle pieces don't fit they just uh, save them onto a later time when they find new puzzle pieces and then try them together and all of a sudden you see that there is a bigger picture that exists how can you know that they love the truth how is that possible place a magnifying glass above it and then see that when truly push comes to shove these people are willing to bear the consequences that's the point for the sake of the truth they are willing to bear the consequences of, for the sake of the truth no matter what even when those are often those consequences nasty and very painful and saddening their focus is to get to know God as he really is and to know and to grow in the realization of him of God that's the point you can read that in Colossians 1 10 growing in the realization of God that is, by the way, the Dutch name of Refajo, this channel. Refajo means realization of God in Dutch. So think about that. Let me do one more slide and then maybe I will start next video with that one. Let's take the salvation of all as an example about studying scripture, right? Well, this is an example. This is the one of the most well-known examples the salvation of all all so this aforementioned truth now of the salvation of all we will take as an example and you could say all people to make it simple this truth can be read in various places in scripture of which 1 Corinthians 15 verse 22 verse uh, to 28 Romans 5 verse 18 through 19 John 1 verse 29 John 12 verse 47 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 through 6 1 Timothy 4 verse 10 Colossians 1 verse 20 Philippians 2 verse 11 with together combined with 1 Corinthians 12 verse 3 as an extra fa flavor and confirmation of course so some people however hope in the hidden recesses of their hearts that their bastard employer annoying neighbor abusive aunt or bullying colleague will be tormented forever can you recognize that because I can and I can recognize this with my with with myself when I was a Christian again I repeat I can recognize this with myself when I was a Christian I had these uh, thoughts in my heart in the secret chambers of my heart think about that okay I will stop here and then I will continue the next video with this slide well 
I am privileged that you have watched. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.